everyone, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge Let's Stay Home series. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. You do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take a little bunny off of this super adorable Dollar Tree bunny banner. I'm going to remove the tail and what I want to do is I want to make a cute little buffalo check plaid bunny so I'm just going to lay this Dollar Tree baby blanket over the little bunny and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it to the bunny. Now this is a felt bunny so it was really pretty easy to hot glue and I do want to go ahead and make this kind of like a little shabby chic bunny. I've used a lot of buffalo check plaid in this gray color with the pillows in my living room so I just thought this might be a cute little addition and so I'm going to go ahead and trim out the bunny this was fairly easy as well make sure that you have a nice sharp pair of scissors Now that I've cut my little bunny out, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the tail back on. Then I'm gonna take some lace from my lace scraps and I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the lace in and around the little bunny creation that I made. This would also be super cute to do with just the pastel and not adding the extra fabric. But again, I do wanna make this kind of um, a cute little addition to my living room decor. So I went ahead and with the, went with a gray and white buffalo check plaid. And also, if you don't have the little bunny cut out on hand, you could always trace a bunny out or print one out. All you have to do is Google free bunny cutouts, and they have a lot of little different cutout ideas for you all. Um, but just go ahead and begin to glue some lace onto your little bunny. And then once you have that all finished, you can go ahead and add some goodies to that. Now that I have my buddy all finished, I decided to go ahead and take some of this Dollar Tree Silky Ribbon and just tie a quick little shoelace bow. This is super easy. You just tie a bow like you would be tying your shoelace and then you're going to go ahead and trim the bow off. And then once you have that done, you can just hot glue that to the neck of your little bunny. Now get creative and use whatever fabrics you have on hand. And um, I did also go ahead and add a little bit of razzle dazzle bling to the center of my bunny. These were just some little actual snowflake pieces I believe I found at the Dollar Tree over Christmas time. So now is the best time while we're staying at home to dig into your stash and use what you have. So here is my little bunny, all cute and adorable. I think she is so sweet and fabulous and very shabby chic, but with that extra kind of updated buffalo check plaid. And I just want to share with you a quick little Psalm 23.3, He restores my soul. And I have just been praying for all of you. And I'm so thankful that you're here and watching this video. And I just want you to be encouraged. And it really felt good for me to craft and do some of these fun things to share with you all. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm repurposing and reusing this Dollar Tree tray. I found this tray at Dollar Tree and I chalk painted it white a while back. And now I'm just gonna repurpose and reuse some of this foam. And I'm gonna make a cute little centerpiece. I found this lamb's ear at um, Walmart. It's $2 for a pack 
of two. So it's basically like a dollar each. And I'm going to add that to either side of my arrangement and then get creative again and reuse whatever flowers you have. I actually am pulling apart a lot of my floral arrangements. So I'll have new DIYs to share with you all. So I'm taking some of these pink tulips. I had used them to make a wreath with, but I wanted to reuse to share this with you guys. So I'm just adding the tulips in and around the base of um, my little uh, plate platter here and also these tulips did come from Michaels but Dollar Tree does carry tulips closer to the summertime but again just reuse whatever flowers that you already have on hand is my suggestion for this DIY um, but I'm using a lot of pretty pink tulips around the base I thought that would make you all smile this pretty pink color right now to me is just so soothing and you guys know me I love pastels and pink and during Easter I really feel like it's the most fun time to use all of those beautiful pastels. So I also decided to go ahead and add some hot pink roses, just a couple here at the top. I had these left over in my craft stash. I thought that would give a little bit of dimension to the pale pink tulips. And I really wanted it to feel like spring was springing in this beautiful centerpiece. And I also had to go ahead and add a little bit of moss in and around the spaces that seemed kind of bare in my arrangement. Um, you know, you could also add some greenery or whatnot. The other thing I want to go ahead and do is share with you all a prayer. And this is Matthew 634. And it says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Father, sometimes I become exhausted, weary, and overwhelmed with worry, stress, and anxiety for the future. I pray, Matthew 634, over my life and over my friends' lives who are listening right now. I do not want to worry or be anxious about tomorrow, but instead I want to place my trust in you entirely each and every day. Father, help me remember in times of need that you have always been faithful to provide in any and every situation or challenge. Help me remember that your plans are to prosper me and never to harm me. Father, teach me to meet each day's troubles as they come with grace, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I know your grace is sufficient. You will help me overcome whatever this life may bring my way. You are good to me, and I find peace and hope in knowing you will never abandon me. There is no need to worry about tomorrow. I know I will. you will meet me there. In Jesus' name, amen. So for the next DIY, I want to share with you all how I'm going to repurpose and reuse this little salsa jar. I've been actually saving a lot of jars to share different crafts with you all. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off and paint the lid with some flat 2X Rust-Oleum spray paint. You could use pretty much any craft paint for this. This is just what I had on hand. Then I, once that has dried, I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue and some moss to the base of this. I found the moss at Dollar Tree, but you guys could use grass. You could use any little bits and bobs you might have around. I'm gonna take this little Dollar Tree. It's a fake peep. It was on a stick, but it pulls off of the stick really easy. And then I'm gonna add a big generous dollop of hot glue. And then I also had some of this little Dollar Tree um, vase filler. It's just a little tiny kind of round looking eggs, but you guys could use little tiny flowers or again, whatever you have in your craft stash, you could use some little 
beads or bobs or pearls. Again, just dig in and start using some of the things you guys have. If you're like me, you, you like to keep a lot of little things that you might think you're going to craft with. So here's my little bunny. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pop the jar on top of this. I also did add a bit of Mod Podge and a layer of glitter to the back of the jar where that sticker la label was. Um, you could also use Goo Gun to get your sticker label off. Now this is a Dollar Tree candlestick. I painted it white with that same spray paint and then I'm just adding some hot glue. And then now I have this adorable little bunny decor piece that was so sweet and easy. And I just used everything that I already had on hand. And also this would be great if you're doing fairy gardens with some of your little ones right now. They could create this kind of little fairy garden. Use some of the little fairy garden um pieces really any miniature that you have laying around you can make this little craft with and you don't have to glue it to a candlestick I just kind of did that because I thought it would look neat for this DIY um, but just save your jars you could even make this craft with a bottle if you had a bottle on hand um, so anyway I just thought that would be a fun one and this would be a great one to do for really any age and any skill level just always make sure you're super with the hot glue if you're doing this with little ones. So for the next DIY, I'm going to take this little happy Easter bunny bag. It was two for a dollar at Walmart for these cute little bunny bags. And then I'm going to take this leftover blueberry container and I'm going to take and I'm going to cut the top part out of the blueberry container. What I want to do is create a floral arrangement inside of this bag, but I wanted something to keep the bag expanded. That way I don't have to use floral foam and the bag will kind of stay open. I hope that makes sense. So I just cut the top part out of the blueberry container. Really, you could use any plastic container and then also a little box would work. So if you have an empty um, cereal box or oatmeal box, that would help keep um, a little bit of stability in your bag. So what I want to create is a floral arrangement in this bag. I'm popping these little tulips in, again, reusing what I already had on hand. I pulled apart a tulip wreath. You guys probably saw it, um, but I just want to have more DIYs to share with you all. So I'm taking again this ribbon and I'm tying a little shoelace bow. This is just kind of an extra step because you know I really love to go a little bit extra and then I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that to the front of this. I did trim it off enough to where you could still see the happy Easter part. Um, but you guys could get totally creative with this. You could even just use a gift bag that you already have on hand. Um, maybe you have a pretty gift bag from a gift that somebody gave you. Uh, you could just cover if it said birthday on it and then make a beautiful floral arrangement. This could also go for a basket. You could even take an old purse that's a vintage purse and make a floral arrangement in that. I don't know. There's just so many fun ways you could do a spring Easter floral arrangement, but I had this bag on hand. So again, using what you have, just go ahead and add in some pretty flowers. I did take those purple ones out and I just added green tulips, yellow tulips, and pink tulips. I did get the tulips at Michael's at the beginning of the season. Dollar Tree will carry um, tulips. I think some of them already have their tulips out from what I've seen online. Um, and then here it is mixed in here with this beautiful, happy springtime arrangement. I just had to bring you all some color. These soft pastels do so much to just soothe my soul. And of course, I do love the pastel aesthetic, but I hope, really my hope is that this video will make your heart smile and help you move into decorating for spring and Easter. Again, looking forward to the future with so much hope and so much joy in our hearts. As we go through this, we stay at home together. We join together and pray for one another and love on one another and call and text each other, send each other messages, letters, um, doing whatever we can to just really encourage and support and uplift one another.
For the next DIY, I'm gonna take this cute little adorable Dollar Tree frame and this Dollar Tree egg. This Dollar Tree egg was from a sign that I had just pulled apart. You guys probably saw that in my mantle decor video. I'm using some double-sided sticky tape. I don't wanna ruin the frame by hot gluing on it, so I'm just taping the little egg on. Now, I did have a bit of a craft fail and did end up having to use a little bit of hot glue on this, but I think it'll come off fine with an, a bit of sandpaper and I'll probably reuse it and repurpose it anyway. But for those of you that just need an easy, quick craft to do, you could do this with your kiddos on any frame really that you have laying around. You could just add some quick little eggs and just make some fun Easter decor. I know sometimes I don't have the thought process to sit down and do really hard DIY, so I thought I'd bring you guys a super fun and easy one. For the next DIY, I'm gonna take this globe that I found at the thrift store and this thrift store plate, and I'm gonna take some of those Dollar Tree speckled eggs and then some of the Dollar Tree oversized eggs, and I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to add them to this hurricane. So I added some of the speckled eggs first, and this is some of that Dollar Tree. It's vase filler is what they call it. And then I'm adding in this large jumbo oversized egg. I just wanna add a bunch of eggs again and create a super, easy just little fun Easter decor piece you guys can get creative and happy with this one use whatever eggs that you have on hand and I did need a little bit more of the vase filler it's floating around in the bottom of one of my craft bags so it's going to take a while for me to collect all of it um, I didn't bag it beforehand but anyway I'm just adding in all of these fun little eggs for a bright little happy shiny Easter decor and again this is a really easy one you don't have to have a lot of supplies to do this um, you could use any kind of glass vase any kind of bits and bobs of eggs or pearls or whatnot so for the next part of this DIY I'm going to go ahead and make Make a really large Olivia bow and I'm starting with a 14 inch piece now this is a bow that I made previously but I want to share it with you all I'm going to take the ribbon and loop it over on itself I'm gonna do that about four to six times depending upon the amount of ribbon that you have for this one I only used four loops but if you're making a big wreath bow you probably want to do six loops and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a tiny little notch cut a tiny little bitty knot in the center of this and then you can go ahead and use your pipe cleaner and the knot will help your pipe cleaner hang on to that bow better and allow you to fluff it without the loops falling apart so I'm adding it to the center part of this and again it was 14 inches for the first piece and you also might want to measure your bow for the size of your project so if it was a smaller project you're gonna need to do you know smaller measurements so now for the next ribbon loop I'm going to do 12 inches long and then I'm going to do four loops. This is going to be that Dollar Tree Happy Easter ribbon. In fact, all of this ribbon that I'm using for this bow is from the Dollar Tree. Again, I'm going to just take it and find my center and notch each um, side. This is what I call the Olivia bow simply because it'll be a good reference point for you guys to come back to to know which bow we're making. We make this bow over and over and over. So many of you will have tried it. I developed this bow because I can't make a bow honestly to save my life. So I figured out how to do this bow and I just had to share it with you guys. And thank you for all of you that are sharing over on my Facebook group page and on Instagram. I love seeing your projects and I'm so proud of everybody. Everybody's bows look amazing and practice makes perfect. I know sometimes mine come out really great and sometimes not so great. So don't give up, just keep trying. So again, I made another little loopy bow here here and this one was 10 inches long you just take it and go four inches or you go four times over on itself and I will leave a bow recipe down below it gives you a really in-depth Olivia bow tutorial it's from my Christmas bows but it's still the same
same method. Um, so just give your bow a nice and tidy fluffy now. Now this is the key to a fabulous, amazing bow is you want to fluffy duffy it out really well. And then I'm just going to take and fold my little end over here and dovetail it by um, taking my scissors and just cutting in an upwards direction. Now be careful if you're cutting upwards, um, you're gonna cut that little triangle, it's gonna give you a nice little finished edge, but do be careful um, when you're cutting. My scissors aren't that sharp and thankfully I've never cut myself, but just because you're using scissors, just always be careful. And so here it is all fun and fabulous and ready to go on my little DIY hurricane base. And again, I'm repurposing and reusing the ways that I store my bows um, if I take them off of a project is I take a little push pin and I'll just push pin them to the wall inside of my craft closet that way they stay nice and fluffy so that's just a little side note for you all and so here it is with the bow added now this is very over the top definitely my style but if you don't like over the top leave the bow off or make a smaller bow but i just thought it made like a fun little centerpiece without using the flowers just another idea for you guys to decorate use what you have on hand and have fun again crafting and creating i always ask that you uh, that you let me know which is your favorite project in this video and which one might you have some supplies on hand to recreate again i'm not going out to shop for any crafting supplies right now so if you don't have the I items on hand right now just save this video for a later date i'm encouraging everybody to stay at home and just stay peaceful and i'm um, calm and i want to thank you for being here thank you for watching my videos it means a lot and we're going to get through this and i love you all so much Hey guys, so here is my bargain shopper outfit of the day. I have this cute little tank top from Walmart and then this little um, duster jacket. It's actually a swimsuit cover up, but I wear it all the time. It's from Cupshe and I'll leave a link down below in the description box for you guys. And then I just have on some little Walmart boots. These jeans are from Old Navy. So, and then I have my little TJ Maxx earrings on here. So there you guys have it, my little bargain shopper outfit of the day. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. If you all are new, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of my little YouTube family here. It's totally free. Click the bell. It will update you every time I post a new video. Again, I'm Olivia the Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama, and I just love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a TV tiny budget. I would also love to invite you all to my Libby's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join and you will make some fun little friends over there that love to craft and decorate as well. Request to join. I'll approve your request and you can post photos of your DIY projects and your home decor. And let me tell you, it's just so uplifting to pop over there and see everybody's craft projects and decorating that they have going on. So thank you all for sharing. I just love seeing what you all are up to. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. I share a good morning coffee with you every morning, as well as sneak peeks and just condensed DIY tutorials. So go follow me over there. Um, I just want to encourage you all to keep looking forward to the future with so much joy and hope and keep crafting and decorating no matter where you're at. Um, just definitely continue to use your hands, stay busy, rearrange your room, um, write a note to a friend, check on someone, and we're gonna keep going with this let's stay home series just sharing with y'all DIY crafty decor projects on a budget um, baking decorating just everything that we have going on here so I love you all to the moon and back I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight we can totally do this we're in this together I cannot wait for the next video remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another until then we will talk to you later bye-bye mm -hmm.